Good afternoon, fellow YouTube family. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Shane, and this is my absolutely beautiful, sexy, 79 Ford F-350, one ton, dually flavor, two-wheel drive, cool stuff, 400 small block, 400M, I guess, whatever. That over there is my 84 Corvette. There's actually a series on that uh, earlier in the videos. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. The thing was sitting for... Best I could date was that because the tires were literally brand new, like still had the little nipples on them and everything, um, and like no road wear marks on them at all, but they were dated 20-something years ago. Uh, you'll have to check the info in the video. I did it all in there. But I think the thing had been sitting for like 20 years. Uh, the block was full of crap and wasn't running like at all. And long story on the car. She's still here, if y'all if y'all remember. Don't worry. We've, we've got more stuff we can do to her. Big plans for that car eventually one day. But today, we're going we're gonna to play with the uh, 79 here. And I got to apologize first and foremost for the hiatus. I know, uh, I know, not really a good excuse, I guess, but I did just work like 17 days straight and uh, I just didn't have the motivation, I guess, to uh, play with anything after work. So today is my first day off in quite a while, and we are going to see. If this old girl, who's been sitting here since about the last video, um, if she's going to fire up and move. I have started it once or twice. I did uh, replace the fuel line and um, started messing with some of the wiring, I think. I don't really remember. I know that currently uh, it's got only one turn signal and parking light on the front and only one turn signal and both tail lights work but only one brake light slash turn signal works the other one does not headlights work uh but the brake lights will only work off of actuating the brake controller the trailer brake controller pressing the brake pedal doesn't do anything um and i'm imagining wiring and fuse box corrosion and so on and so forth chevy what are you doing, baby? Come back here. Come back here. Say hi to peoples. You say hi to peoples. You love peoples. You love peoples. Oh my God, yes you do. You love the peoples. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing with your baby? She's just a puppy. She's only like a year and a half. But anyway, we're gonna see if we can get this thing fired up, and uh, you know, hopefully the battery's not dead. Hopefully it still runs. I guess I don't know. Um, if you guys are watching this, do me a huge favor. Keep this channel going. Hit the subscribe button. It's like, you know, there or there or there or there. I don't know how you're holding your phone or your computer, but it's somewhere. Um, I do have another will it start, will it run kind of revival kind of thing. Car has been sitting. Uh, this one's not as severe as this one. It has been sitting for like five years or something. Uh, a friend of mine family heirloom kind of thing so on and so forth uh i'm gonna try to do that before the end of the year no promises but there's also some uh equipment over there that's been sitting in the 5 10 15 20 plus years like there's literally so many pieces of big equipment over there i'm talking from 60s 70s 80s 90s uh big dozers d7s uh big fiat alice loaders and john deere loaders and backhoes and there's so much stuff over there and i did get permission to play with this stuff and see if i can make it run and make it operate so we're going to try that at some point but that's probably going to be a 2023 thing especially more likely if y'all will hit the subscribe button <laughs> and the like button comment you know do the stuff that makes the youtube think that you know you guys like me because that helps me put out free stuff for you guys to entertain yourselves upon i guess i don't know but past all the bull uh wherever chevy just went she's always nosing around somewhere let's go see what this thing's gonna do i'm probably gonna start it under the hood because i never did get the choke hooked up right 
and it's a good balmy 48 ish 50 ish degrees so she probably only needs some choke to run i have to hold it with the with my fingers and the yeah so and she's over here playing with the truck what are you doing silly dog come here come here you silly dog let's get started All right, so here is a little bit of kind of what I was telling you I had done. Uh, remember I told you all I had the flatbed for it? Well, today I think we're going to try to drop this tank off. I have looked inside it. Uh, it is rough. I can replace it for like 150 bucks, uh, but we're going to check and see if it's replaceable first. I did strap the fuel tank down because uh, I think I drove it like, up the street to the stop sign and back or something one day uh but i did get uh the old tail lights and some wiring and yeah there's stuff going on here um i've also got oh man oh man oh look at my windshield man what the heck happened to that oh poo who in a sock? What the hell? Look at that. I don't remember it being like that. Well, now we gotta add a windshield to the list. Yeah, because you know the, the hood and the fender and the grill are in such good shape. <laughs> uh, but... I I kind of tore the dash part a little bit. I did put a choke handle in there. I stuck it in the radio hole, but I don't have the bracket on the carburetor because the carburetor was missing parts when I got it. So on and so forth. And I do have the old keys right here. So we are going to stick the llaves in the hole and we're going to put it to on. And uh, it's in park. Let's... Uh, Let's go hook up the battery and see if it runs. Now, I'll tell you what, this old hood, she, uh, uh, she is kind of a bugger to get. Sorry, I gotta readjust y'all. Maybe something like that. Maybe more tilts. There you go. So, I don't ever close it all the way, but I got the old cable there you hear the buzzer oh man did y'all see that did y'all see that it's like a freaking mole under the hood of this thing chevy get it get the dang thing before it freaking tries to bite me or something lord have mercy all right well i'm gonna scare the crap out of him when i start this thing let's uh Let's give her a tickle of the, uh, that was, that was way too much. Let's give her a tickle of that. Chev, are you going to get this thing or not? You know, I don't like freaking gross little things. Gross little animals. Ugh. Gross. All right. I wonder if I can hold that down with that. about this. Apparently, Let's see if taking that off helps. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, I did put a new alternator belt on it finally. Um, I couldn't get that bolt to move free. I don't know if you can see me or not. But I was able to use the old pry bar and hammer trick to kind of whoop and whoop, you know, whatever. Come on, baby. Chevy, come here. Now. Chevy. Chevy. Fuel tank's pretty low on fuel. I'll have to go buy some. Okay, we got the fuel debacle figured out. I had to put five gallons in it. Let's try to get it up to the shop again. I'm telling you what, this old girl is a thirsty girl. She blows through fuel. She just chews on it like an old man chewing on peanuts, I swear. Let's get this thing up here. If it'll go anyway. So I'm talking about. You guys are a little wobbly because you're on the tripod on the seat. And no, I don't have wipers. I do have some dualies that are about to grab everything through this small gap, though. If we don't get stuck in the mud first. Come on, baby. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't get stuck. Come on, baby. <laughs> Brakes work decent, even though it's only the front. Oil pressure's good, though. Even for a 
nice cold engine filled with 1540. See? There, she's alright. The Amperesis is, I don't know if that works or not. I don't even know if this whole gauge cluster works, honestly. Alright, let's get her in the shop. Or try to. See if we can't fit her down between all these cars. Ugh. off let's get at this thing all right so to start off with this thing and honestly i still need to jack it up and get some air in all four rears because they're still flat i think uh one thing that was interesting that i found was that the one tons didn't come with any kind of rear shocks or provisions for rear shocks or like anything so I find that strange. It's literally just sitting on leafs with the overload spring at the top. I, th I thought that was uh, weird. But let's see if I can't show you all what it looks like inside this uh, tank because it's, it's rough. Oh, and that chipmunk ran underneath that cobalt. <laughs> oh, One of these days I'm going to have a bunch of them cobalts laying around. We're going to do some kind of cobalt race or something through the field or I don't know. We'll figure out something silly to do. I sure do have enough of them laying around. All right, Mr. Strap. All right, Mr. Tank. On the yard ship. About five gallons on it. <laughs> and then, I guess I forgot I had all this crap tied off. That's okay. See if I can to get these hoses off again. I had them off once. This is the old fuel line I still got to rip out of the truck. Kind of, yeah, whatever. But real magic happens in here. Okay, time for a prep. A ladder. 
And some gloves, I think. That's gross. Dun, 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 dun. Big pry bar. the show here I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you let me grab a flashlight can y'all see that in there it's like full of rust and nuts and leaves and all kinds of weird stuff so we're gonna try to get that out of there. I'll come back to you when it's out. Hi, right, so, uh, got straps down. One uh, came off and one broke. No surprise, I didn't have any uh, heat and I didn't really care about the one that was gonna break because it just uh, goes to the frame here with a bolt. And I knew it was gonna break. Couldn't get to it, don't care, but the strap back here is good, and that's what's really important. So now, I'm gonna figure out how the heck this thing comes out of here. Which means I gotta wall her around on the floor. Oh, okay, well, showstopper. <laughs> All right, ow, god dang toe mirrors. Now something about better dodge them toe mirrors. Yeah, I just hit my head on that one. Anyway, let's show you why the video is going to end right here as far as tank. I'm gonna have to order one because she's got a uh, she's got a big vent in the side of her. So, guess I'm ordering one. Uh, well, it's kind of interesting. Now, old Mister Odie was and still is a plumber. So as I was cleaning all this crap out of the frame rail, I was finding all these uh, pipe shavings and tea fittings and <laughs> there's a pile of them down here. There's some over there, like right there. <laughs> there's a bunch in those leaves. And then, uh, you know, whatever that is, it's threaded on one side. Yeah, well. I think I'm gonna, I guess I'll just post this and, uh, uh, I don't know. All right, guys, so, oops, I'm gonna trip and fall and break my leg again. Uh, for those of you that don't know the story, definitely go back and uh, watch the first video. I actually went down to get this truck uh, back in July, on July 2nd, and I had to do uh, repair to uh, skid steer to be able to come use it to I was going to use it to load the, the flatbed and you know potentially drag this up the hill if I needed to so on and so forth and I was being unsafe and I dropped the bucket on my leg you know well more like yeah it was well it was both bones so it was kind of like that but uh so that's how that's kind of where my journey started with this truck now she does have uh, a little bit of uh you know ventilation here in the back of the cab floorboards are ridiculously good there's this one hole in this cab corner not the other side the other side's clean and then of course we've got an amazing frame like it's in great shape um 
And the rest of the cab's in good shape, even though I have a knocked out window now. Children. <laughs> uh, a bunch of kids walk the train tracks back there by where you saw the truck park. I'm sure one of them picked up a rocket. You know, just why not? Breaking glass when you're a kid is like the greatest thing on the planet. And truth be told, I was probably going to have that windshield replaced anyway. I, uh, I really don't like windshields that aren't clear. But I am going to order a tank. I am going to order um, drums and shoes. Uh, it'll get tires once I can drive it to a tire shop. Um, what else? Oh, the mufflers. Those were packed full of mouse house, so I had to cut them up there. Uh, yep, right there where my finger is. Um, so from like here to here, it's just flopping. And uh, if you look at the bends on this exhaust, I, I know this was done in the 90s, but I mean, every single bend, can you see that? There you go. Every single one of these bends is like pinched flat. I mean, that's how deep my fingers go into that crease. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can see it back here, like where these are. Every single bend on this exhaust is pinched flat. So I just, I don't know. Plans are a uh, four barrel intake with a four barrel Edelbrock 1405 manual choke. I might go electric choke. I might go 1406. I don't know. Uh, the 1406 electric choke is what's on my Impala. Um, if you guys haven't seen anything, there are some videos like way back on the channel when I first got that car and was like, I want to do a series on this, but then work and whatever else kind of, you know, I just, I didn't do it. Uh, I am probably going to release some stuff on that car soon. Um, it's a 64 two door hard top sedan, uh, sport coupe. It was originally 327 four speed car. Uh, it's currently uh, 350 Vortec with five speed NV3500. Blah, blah, blah. We can get into that later. Uh, I've been getting run around on it for a while, so I'm, I'm done. It's time, to, it's time to do something about that car. But, so watch those. And there's also a lot of stuff like, you know, like Malibu's and, and Cobalt's and, and all these Ecotech engines that I, uh, I play with all the time and and here's even a Prius engine I had to swing recently and you know we we do some off-road and stuff as, as, you, as you've seen with my my big Jeep and you know there's there's a lot of stuff going on here and I really appreciate all the support you guys have I want to apologize again for the hiatus uh, I still love you guys and I hope you guys still love me um, I really really hope you guys love me enough to uh, push subscribe push like and I'm sorry this video sucked. I did not know that tank had a hole in it. Uh, but there's no way I'm going to have a tank in time uh, to be able to put any kind of video out. Um, so in the meantime, I guess enjoy watching me struggle to get this thing basically revived again after sitting for a freaking month <laughs> and out of gas and didn't want to come out of the back, back lot there. Um, but next time you see this truck, we will be diving into it with brakes and a fuel tank and uh finishing whatever wiring i got to do to be able to set the bed on this and go drive it and basically i want to take it to Odie, let him hop in the driver's seat and let's go get a coffee or an ice cream man let's, let's go get a cheeseburger as he says like like you know let's you bought the he bought this truck brand spanking new off the lot zero miles exactly as you see it i mean but you know less what is it saying, like 60 years old, less that amount of time on it, but he drove it straight from the lot like this and had a flatbed put on it and uh, used it for his construction company, pulling around his excavator, skid steer, backhoe, so on and so forth. So that's the plans with this. Um, I really I wish I had better content for you today. I'm going to try to get the, uh, the car, the will it start that's over there on the car it's a uh, 80s early 80s i think chrysler that's that's all i'm going to tell you guys if you guys want to see it um it's been sitting for like five years it was a family heirloom aunt died dad got it sat too long now it's over here and it's just been sitting i'm gonna try to get it running for these fellas and uh, you know try to get them 
get them back on the road in in this this old iron you know where it belongs on the road driving having fun and, and thinking of you know how days were you know in the 60s and 70s and 80s and, and what it was like to drive one of these things brand new you know that's the stuff i'm really into that's stuff i really like i really like kind of just thinking like you know what if i was in high school and you know, it was 1967 and I'm driving this 64 Impala. You know, am I the coolest kid on the block because I've got a 64 two-door hardtop? Sure, it's not a SS car, but, you know, I don't know. Now I'm rambling. Please like, subscribe, comment. Please, please, please do it. It don't cost nothing to you and it helps me immensely. Gets me into the algorithm. Uh, the videos have been doing pretty well so far as far as... Um, the watch hours i'm golden i'm just just down on the subscribers so i know i'm gonna shamelessly plug myself and annoy the crap out of you guys over these next few videos but uh subscribe <laughs> but anyway chevy yeah she's gone nope hey come here chevy anyway that's all i got for you guys today um Stay tuned for that will it start, because I'm probably going to try to do it uh, this weekend-ish. Um, today's Wednesday, December 14th. Yes. Yes. December 14th. Um, so, in the next week before Christmas, I'll try to get that will it start. It'll probably just be one video. Um, hopefully, throw some power to it, clean some things, make it start, make it drive. Here you go, you know, it, your car runs again. But until then, uh, just catch y'all on the next one. Peace.